All right, so I am very tired. I just got out of bed, and I saw a video that made me want to discuss a topic about spamming in Clone Hero. Obviously, it was Ghost Force's video that just got posted this morning, but, um, yeah, I, I would like to give my thoughts about that. So, um, obviously, I'm not a fan of spamming. I try to, uh, reduce it whenever I can, and whenever I play the game. It's still kind of hard for me in a few areas, but skill issue, what can I say? So, yeah, um, I'm not a fan of spamming. That's pretty much all I gotta say about that, because, like, it, 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 it's obvious, like, when people play the game cleanly, you can clearly see just how much more appealing it is, and just how much better it is overall compared to spam play. Like, I, I know that we shouldn't be, like, taking this topic too seriously, because, you know, it's, um, it's just a video game. It's a video game from 2005, but at the same time, you know, it, when you spam, and when you just completely ignore the rhythm of the game, that completely defeats the purpose of what the game is all about. So, you know. Like, and as Ghost Force said, it completely tarnishes your skill set as a player whenever you do it. So, I mean, you know. Th this is one of the reasons why I'm always going to see Frith, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will do as well, see Frith as the top player because... He's one of those players where you could just look at only his hands, and you could guess what song he was playing. That is how cleanly he plays, alright? That- and that was the best- that- that's what got me into Clone Hero in the first place, when I was watching all the other players, was that I could just look at their hands, and only their hands, and guess what song they were playing before I even looked at the chart. And... You know, that's- that's what I wanted to achieve as a player as well, is being able to play the game, and actually guess what song I'm playing just by looking at my hands. And you know, I also wanted to get into doing blindfolded runs of certain songs too, because that was something that Randy did quite a lot back in the day, and I kind of wish he did it more. <laughs> but yeah, off topic, um, but yeah, spamming, just, I don't know why you can say that hasn't already been said other than, guys, please don't do it. <laughs> Avoid it whenever you can. Please, like, try, try to put in the effort that the game asks, or that other members of the community ask, because it's, it, it's very, from my experience, it's rewarding, alright? It is actually very rewarding. When you actually take the time to practice gaining the dexterity and the strength to do all that stuff cleanly, it's, it's so fun, alright? It's, it's much more fun, it's much less taxing, and, you know, it's, it's, it takes a bit. But it's worth it, alright? And this is exactly what I'm going through with my panker grind at the moment. Which, if you guys don't know, Carney Jared said that I could get VIP if I FC panker. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, very excited to do that. So, yeah, um... Yeah, all, all I can suggest, really, is that, um... You know, because in the modern community, spamming has been really prevalent because, you know, but the main focus of the community isn't so much cleanliness, but more, I want the FC. I want to, you know, push the- I want to get the things that people are saying is impossible. I want to do this at a really ridiculous fast speed. But at the same time, like... I- I, I don't know, man. I honestly don't really care about those kind of accomplishments anymore, personally, because, like... Speed accomplishments? Doing things that people say are impossible using the most ridiculous methods, like... The, the, especially the things that people are getting nowadays, like... Those things that people are saying that, ha that are not really possible or haven't even been achieved yet, those can be achieved cleanly. And it would be so much more worth it if they were gone cleanly. But, you know, people are Russian. People are Russian. Look at Haha No Solo 1, for example. One of the FCs that people have gone of it has literally just been, like, the method used for it was literally this. Like, come on, what the hell? Yeah, like... Seriously, I don't understand why people are like that. I, re I really don't understand, like, that the whole point of rhythm game is rhythm. Like, there... <laughs> Oh, I'm getting off topic again, but you know what I mean, like... 
just... My, my overall message, like, like I said, there's nothing that I can really say that hasn't already been said. So my final message to you guys is, please, put in the effort. You're, you're gonna get so much more respect from the community if you do it. I mean, if you don't care about the respect and you just care about the accomplishments, fine, go for it. But I mean, people aren't not going to look at it at the same light as other people that actually put in the effort. But, yeah, that, that's my take. Um, yeah, personally, for me, I'm just going to do my best to play as cleanly as I can. And, um... You know, the, once again, this is off topic, but I think this is worth discussing for people who, that want to get, like, better at the game cleanly. Um, simple posture fix that I found out, and I actually learned this a little bit from Frith. Um, if you choose a position where your arm is level to your shoulder, like this, and you're able to flat out your hand with the front bar, you're able to open up your hand and um, activate that pulling motion that your bicep gives. So, that's fun. I've been using that a lot with my finger grind, and I've also been doing an accenting type of tapping with my right hand, where I actually use the pull of my bicep as well to pull my hand forward. And, um... It's helped me get a lot cleaner with grinds like Pinger, and VIP Party, and a bunch of our songs I plan to go for as well. So, um, and another thing that I'm going to be doing as well, that is, um... That I just found out about last night is I'm going to be trying to keep my fingers spread out like this, no matter what I'm doing. It's going to take a lot more effort, but eventually, this will become normal. And this is the exact same kind of spread out posture that Sendit uses, and what Frith uses. So, I'm gonna get used to that, and hopefully I get better results. But yeah, overall, that is my thoughts on spamming. Not as strict as someone like Daniel Jackson's, but at the same time, like, I, I can't control what people do. Like, play the game however you want, but at the same time, just try to play it right. <laughs> Please and thank you. Like, actually show that you're putting in effort. Play, just play cleanly, that's all I can say, just play cleanly. You'll get so much better results if you do, alright? It'll take time, yes, but it's worth it. It is 100% worth it, alright? And I'm going to take my own advice as well, and I'm going to try and prevent spamming as much as I can. But yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully next time it'll either be a tutorial video or a Penguin Progress update. I don't know. Also, by the way, do you guys like this new webcam? I just bought this recently, it's a, it's a Logitech Brio. I have um, I upgraded from my old webcam that I've had for like five years. Or was it six years? Eight years! Oh my gosh! Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no, it was six years, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, I've I've had that webcam for a long time. But yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys later, and I hope you all have a good day. And, um, you know, just take my word with a grain of salt or something. I, I don't know. I don't know how the saying goes. But, um, yeah, I, I hope, I hope you, I hope something in this video tickled your fit, it t I hope you're tickled.